Hello everybody, welcome to one more review. Now, AVG released a new version, I think uh, a couple of days ago. It's a new sub-version, it's not exactly a big version where there are a lot of changes. There are no changes, basically, just a lot of bug fixes. So this is their new version now. Their interface change was made in the last newer version. So it's still the same from that. And I'll just be testing it again because last time when I did the test, uh, I have faced some problems and AVG was not able to scan and remove some threads. So as you can see, I'm testing it again and today I'll be testing it in combination with Malwarebytes Pro. So we'll be using two different security products in combination today and we'll see what happens. So as you saw it's up to date, I'll just run it once more. There you go. So there's nothing much to talk about in the interface. Uh, it's still same from last time. Identity protection. It's their behavior blocker. Pretty simple interface, I like that. So first let's get started with the files here. So let me just grab my malware files from my host machine here. And we'll see what kind of detection rate AVG gets. I think we've got 321 pieces of malware that are just two days old. Now I did use this malware in my last test with MCSoft and you can see what kind of detection rate MCSoft got. So you, if you want you can compare it. But of course AVG has an advantage. We are testing it one day later. So anyway, we've got 321 files, pretty new ones. So I'll just do a right click scan here. And we'll see what it finds. Okay, it's strange that it's not, it doesn't look like it's finding, okay, there we go, finally it's come up with some stuff. Took a while to get started. So I guess I'll be back when this done, because it seems to be taking a little bit of time, but it's still pretty fast. I have to say their scanner has always been pretty fast. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it's found a lot of stuff and many of them could not be removed. In fact, none of them have been removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything in here. And I'm going to remove all of them. So let's see how long it takes to remove these files. I guess it will take some time, so I'll be back when all of them have been removed. Welcome back everybody. Well, AVG cleaning process was pretty slow, but I did manage to remove everything that it had found. There you go, everything's been removed. You can say it straight away here, removed and healed. Everything's been taken care of. So let's find the number of misses here. Okay, so we've got 43 items that are left over. And we had total of 321. So that gives us a detection rate of 86.6, .6, or let's call it 87%, which is pretty impressive, I have to say. Uh, I think this is kind of around the detection rate that antivirus software like Komodo, the Defender would get. So it's pretty good detection rate by antivirus Drysoft and they've always been doing well with their heuristics. So that was the detection rate. Now let's take a look at what kind of defense capabilities do they have against unknown threats. First let's try out the links. 
So I do have uh, to install Malwarebytes right now because in this test we'll be trying two applications together. It'll be a combination of Antivirus Grisoft, that is AVG, and Malwarebytes Pro, which is a paid application of course. So let's just uh, get Malwarebytes started here. Now in case you guys don't know what Malwarebytes is, everybody knows that, but in case you don't know, it's another application which is supposed to improve your level of security. It is compatible with any antivirus product, so it's supposed to add to your protection. So let's see if it actually does that and how well this combination works for us. So now I'm going to update it and I guess I'll just get the real time started and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got Malwarebytes protection started. So let's find out what it does. And one thing that I found pretty strange is that as you can see, you can see that AVG is not uh, whitelisted by Komodo and it says it's unknown process so that's pretty strange because AVG is a pretty popular company I think Komodo should put that in their whitelist anyway so we'll just get started with our links here before that I think let's just enable AVG protection I think I've done that Yeah, I've done that. So let's get started here. Some of these are adware, not exactly viruses like this one, I guess. No, this one's probably a Trojan. So first one just ran without any problems. No. Here we go, potentially unwanted program detected, so it's a PUP, and it's detected by the resident shield that is the real-time protection, so I'm going to move it to false, which means quarantine it. Now this is probably a piece of adware. This one's a Trojan. Okay, now it says that object uh, of threat is missing. That's one error that I get with AVG and I don't like that. Every time they just block the threat and then so the file doesn't exist and then it detects it and wants to remove it. Actually this file has probably been removed. It's not like they've not detected it. Now this one is again, there you go, it's the same. There you go, again it tells me that or maybe this time there you go another action has been already performed and why there you go it's still giving me this alert now that's pretty strange let's try run this now this is a piece of adware Okay, now this strange, it couldn't find that. So it appears to have been blocked, but I didn't get any alert. Let's run this piece of Trojan. There you go, this one's been detected as virus found. Okay. There you go, again you, it says that object of threat is missing, then again it gives you this alert, then again it gives you this alert, and this probably keeps on going forever. 
So it looks like AVG are facing a lot of bugs nowadays and I don't know why they can't fix them. Okay, now it says that this file is signed by an untrusted certificate. Okay, whatever it is, I'll just remove it. There you go again, it gives me the same alert. Now, this is probably a bug again in this version of AVG. Now please don't tell me that my install must have been faltered. It's not like that. The install was just normal, just like everything else. And this is not the first application that I'm testing on this machine. I've tested a lot of antivirus software without any problems. Now this one's been detected as Trojan, and there you go. You get two alerts. First by their identity protection, their behavior blocker, and second by their rest and chill now if I use this one to remove it then when I hit remove on this one obviously it's going to say that there you go it won't be able to remove it so that They've probably got a few bugs here and there that they need to fix. Okay, now this one was blocked by Malwarebytes, I guess. And also by AVG. So that's good. There you go, it's an accessible... There you go, this one probably was not detected by AVG, but it was detected by Malwarebytes, and I'm going to quarantine it, and it's probably not going to run. So there you go, uh, Malwarebytes uh, can actually help you if you're using a free antivirus like AVG. You saw that one thread that was not blocked by AVG, but it did not get through because we had Malwarebytes installed. So, it's pretty useful. So, that's probably a piece of adware or something. Had really low detection rate. Might be a false positive. I'm not sure. Let's see what Komodo says about this. Okay, it says it's unknown. Okay, let's try run the last one, and there you go. Again, this one was not blocked by AVG, but was detected by Malwarebytes, so it was removed in the end. So it looks like using Malwarebytes with AVG can be actually pretty useful. As we saw, nearly every thread that I tried, in fact, everything except this wall to go was removed by... Okay, this strange. Kill switch is... It stopped working. Maybe this is doing something, I'm not sure. But it looks like Malwarebytes with AVG did do a pretty decent job because a lot of these links were blocked either by AVG or by Malwarebytes. And the ones that AVG missed were blocked by Malwarebytes, so it did prove to be pretty handy. So right now I'm going to do a scan with Komodo Cleaning Essentials, and I'll be right back with the results. Okay, so there we go. Komodo didn't find anything in its smart scan. I'm not going to scan for hidden surfaces because I don't think there are any rootkits or anything like that. So I guess I'll just run Hitman Pro because there's no point running Malwarebytes because it was there protecting the system. 
So now I guess I'll just do a Hitman Pro scan and I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro didn't find anything as you can see. So I uploaded this one file to Firestore and it came up clean as you can see, nothing's got this. So this is probably a false positive. So it looks like this configuration of Malwarebytes and AVG does do a pretty decent job. Now just for curiosity, I think I'm going to go to my host machine with that folder of malware that I used to scan with AVG and I'll try to scan that with Komodo and we'll see what kind of detection rate we get. Okay, so here we go. We've got the same files, I guess, and this is my host machine. Disable Komodo sand first, so we can take a look at the files, 321. And I'm just going to do a right click scan with Komodo antivirus and I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Komodo removed everything that it found. Now we're left over with 40 items. So let's do the math again. Guess I'll do it. Okay, so we had 321 and now we're left with 43. No, 40 exactly. Okay, so that gives us a detection rate of 87.5%, which is just about 1% ahead of AVG. So it looks like AVG are working really well on their signatures, and the results are showing. Now, they're just 1% behind Komodo, so it's kind of like what the Defender would get. So it's pretty good detection rate, too. So let's get back to our virtual machine here, and... So the final verdict on AVG and Malwarebytes, I think that's a pretty handy combination for you to use. I'd certainly try this out if I were to choose a new security suite. So it's pretty useful. As you saw, this computer is absolutely clean, no misses. Of course, we didn't do a very intensive test, but it's still for a free solution. Of course, Malwarebytes is paid, but... In case you're looking to try out a free antivirus with combination of some stuff like Malwarebytes, certainly this would be a handy combination. So I guess you guys enjoyed this review. Have a good day. So try this out if you want, and goodbye.